Well, yeah, I agree with it um, in the perspective that, you know, a lot of these guys have been in the system already. You know, it wasn't something that was kind of new to them starting off the summer last year. Um, even though we had a little bit of a spring previous to last uh, fall's camp, um, we still put in a lot of stuff in the summertime. So um, uh, most of the menu that we have, a lot of our players have already experienced it. It's a lot easier for the coaches as well to communicate it and uh, understand uh, all the nuances and all the, you know, what's, what's going to happen, try to predict or anticipate the issues. If you can coach like that, then your players can think like that, and then it helps them stay further ahead uh, with communication, with effort, with, you know, uh, knowing their responsibility. So, yeah, I would agree with that, you know, especially on, uh, you know, just as far as uh, understanding of the game a lot better. Well, um, I think the, the young men that were here in the, su in the spring um, actually have, you know, slightly, you know, advantage, you know, as far as just understanding the system. And, uh, the two other gentlemen uh, who just got here this summer, they, you know, they're in academic, academics, they're in class. So um, adding that to their, you know, their plate with football and still in school right now, um, it, you know, it's, it's a little challenging for them. Um, they're performing, you know, Zeke especially is performing, you know, to a level that you can see his instincts. You can see why we recruited him and what he's going to be able to do. Um, but as far as Will, Miles, and Cody, um, you, de you definitely see that they're a little bit further ahead than the freshmen were last year that we, we were able to get, um, um, except for Rod Moore. He was, he was different last year. But um, those, those guys are all developing right where we need them to. Uh, we're going to ask all of them to help us at some point. Um, you know, the capacity is going to be really up to them, what they know and what they understand and how they can execute. What about Keon Sad? I forgot about Oh, what Keon, excuse me. Keon, Keon's done a great job. You know, he's got probably the hardest job of the bunch of those four because uh, he has to know both safeties. Um, so he knows what he's doing is now just taking that step forward on the field and applying it and, and uh, being able to let loose and make some plays. Um, I mean, yesterday we thought he had a pretty good practice and he keeps getting better every week and every day. So. Um, but yeah, he's, he's really, of all of them, he really has the biggest load. You know, playing corner, the big responsibility is not getting beat deep, right? Uh, Nickel, you know, you gotta understand the nuances, but safety, he has to know what everybody's doing, make all the checks. Um, and for him being a freshman, I think he's doing a great job. Well, I think uh, Makari um, has definitely in the spring continued to grow so far. I know that was always our question, how will he continue to grow in the fall? So, so far he has not taken a step back. Um, same thing with R.J. Moten. He's also done a great job of uh, continuing to take steps forward. And Rod as well. Uh, you can see the first couple of days, Rod getting the dust off a little bit, and now he's starting to get back in the groove of things. His knowledge of the game is, is, is I mean, it's, it's, he's like a coach out there. Uh, all three of them, to be honest with you. Um, but just his knack and in, his instincts on the field, I think will continue to push all of them together. And. Uh, like I said, having him at nickel, too, helps with his our best players on the field. Now, the one thing I want to say about the secondary, you saw in the spring game, McCarty went out and played corner because we were down some guys because we split up the team. Like, we're going to teach everybody in that room to know every position. Now, with his skill level, give him that ability to play it on the game, maybe, maybe not, but can I get out of the game putting McCarty at a corner, for example? Yes. And then putting Rod at safety? Correct. So we want to continue to make them versatile and know it. But the, the fight there is going to continue to go like all season long. Like it's going to be who's up, who's who had a better game, who you know, and then just keep rotating those guys. It's a long season. We want to be national champs. We got a lot of games to play. You can't start a guy every game for you know that many that many uh, weeks and, and think that he's going to be at his best at the end of the year when we need to be. We need to be our best in November and December and January. So. Oh, yeah, it's very, very competitive. Jamon Green, I felt, had a better spring than DJ did. And uh, we challenged DJ uh, from the spring. He got better at the end of spring. And I, this summer, you know, just getting back with him, like, you can see that the challenge between him and Jamon, possibly having a young guy like Will, and definitely Mikey. Mikey plays corner as well. Uh, those guys have really, really pushed each other. So. No one feels like that they're just the guy, even DJ, even though he's a freak and number, what, 31 freak in the country. Um, you know, I think they're all the freaks. I think they all have great ability to push one another, and uh, the camar camaraderie is awesome. So I think uh, Jamon's definitely shown that um, he's where we always wanted him to be, and he's got to continue to grow, and, um, and DJ will continue to push. But DJ to be in camp so far is really, 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 um, been uh, impressive to me.
in certain situations. So I want to see him continue to grow as well.